Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you a few special functions of the Tractor Control S8 that can greatly improve your DJ performance. These functions can be easily accessed via button combinations on the hardware controller. We will start by demonstrating the special uses of the shift button. When you have a track playing in a deck, hold down the shift button and press Q to quickly jump back to the beginning. Here's an example of what you could do with this function. When you have a track loaded on a deck, you can make specific tempo or key adjustments. In order to change the tempo, press the top left display soft button. This will show you the BPM on your display. Now turn the browse encoder to fine adjust the tempo. Hold down shift while turning the browse encoder for course adjustments. Once you're done, press the display soft button again to hide the tempo display. Similarly, press the bottom left display soft button in order to display the key of your track. Turn the browse encoder to make adjustments to the key. Press and hold shift while turning the encoder to make fine adjustments. Once you're done, press the display soft button again to hide the key display. Hold down shift and swipe your finger through the touch strip in order to quickly jump to a particular position of the track. Please note that the stripe on the lower part of the display will only be shown for tracks that have already been analyzed. Like any other Native Instruments controller, you can switch your Tractor Control S8 to MIDI mode in order to use your own MIDI mapping or to use your controller in a third-party audio application that supports MIDI. To do this, hold down shift and press the right back button. You will notice that the display now indicates that your unit is in MIDI mode. Next, we will show you a few special uses of the loop encoder. When you are in freeze mode, there is a quick and easy way of changing the size of your slices. To do this, hold down the freeze button while turning the loop encoder. The change in size will be shown on the display. When your tractor is set up with both track decks and remix decks, by hitting the remix button, you are able to directly control your remix deck with the pads of your hardware controller. When you are in Remix mode, you can choose a source to capture audio material into your Remix deck by holding down Capture and simultaneously turning the loop encoder. The capture source will be shown on your display. Press an empty pad to copy the captured material to the corresponding Remix deck cell. The length of the captured sample is determined by the loop length which can be previously adjusted by turning on the loop encoder. Please note that only track decks or the loop encoder can be used as capture sources. Another useful shortcut while in Remix mode is to hold down the Remix button while turning the loop encoder in order to scroll through the four available pages of your Remix set. In this manner, you can quickly access and trigger samples in complex Remix sets. 
Now you have learned some of the special functions of your Tractor Control S8 hardware controller. For general information about the device and all of its features, please refer to the Tractor Manual located in your Tractor Installation Directory.